Hey everyone, it's Helper Joel here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Discord server verification system using Carlbot. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to the Discord server where you want to create the verification system. From here, the first thing that we're going to do is go to the left and where it says text channels, we're going to create a new text channel. We're going to call it verify. We're going to create the channel. After we've done this, we're going to hover over the verify and we're going to click on the edit channel icon on the right. From here, we're going to go to permissions on the left. And we're going to add two permissions for the at everyone rule. We're going to add the view channel as well as the view channel history or read message history we're going to hit the check mark on that one as well after that we're going to save changes and we're going to hit escape after that we're going to go to the top left and we're going to click on the server name and go to the server settings from here on the left, we're going to go to roles and we are going to create a new role. We're going to call this role verified. You could also call this role whatever you'd like, but I'm going to use verified for the video. After that, you're going to go to permissions and you're going to give this verified role all the permissions that you want the server members to have after they've been verified. So this will be just the standard permissions for your Discord server. You're probably going to want view channels. And let's see. Send messages. You can go through and add whichever ones you'd like. But after you've done that, click on save changes. And after you've done that, you're going to go to the at everyone rule. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll to the top of the permissions. And you're going to click clear permissions. So now at everyone doesn't have any permissions because this is what you're going to have when you're not verified. So after that, we're going to go click save changes. And then from here, we're going to add Carlbot to the server. We're going to go to the left and scroll down to app directory. And in the search bar here, we're going to search for Carl dash bot like this and hit enter to search. As you can see, Carl bot shows up. We're going to click on this and go to the right and select add to server. Make sure we have the correct server selected here and click continue. I'm going to authorize all of these. Confirm that we're a human. Now we can go back to our test server and we now see that Carlbot is added. After we've added Carlbot, we're going to go to Carlbot in our Discord server member list. If you can't see the member list, it's probably because you have the member list hidden using this icon right here. So we're going to find Carlbot here. We're going to right click on it and click profile. And then in the Carlbot uh, about me, there's the website, and then you can click on the website link. So we're going to select this. And this is going to open the Carlbot website. What we're going to do from here is log in with Discord. After you've logged in, you're going to select the server that you want to use Carlbot on, which is the one that we just added Carlbot to. So select this. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the left and go down to reaction rules and you're going to left click on reaction rules. From here, you're going to click on the create new reaction rule option. Once this pops up on the screen at the top where it says, please select a channel. We are going to select the verify channel that we just created. After this, in the content, 
Right here, we're gonna select what we want the message to be on the verify message. So you're probably gonna to wanna to put something like react to verify. After that, go down to where it says add emoji. You're gonna add whatever emoji you want to use when you verify. You're probably gonna to wanna to do something like a thumbs up. And then below where this emoji shows up, there's the select option. We're gonna click on this. And then this is the verified role. So we're gonna select the verified role. And after we've done all that, we can scroll down to the bottom and click create. And now if we go back into our Discord server after this has been created, and we go to our verified channel, we're gonna see this. The reason that it's showing this here is because we haven't given Carlbot all the permissions that we need to. So we're gonna go back to the server settings in the top left. We're gonna to go to roles. And we're gonna click on the default permissions option up here. And then here we can see Carlbot is below the verified option. So we're gonna drag the Carlbot up to the top and then save our changes. And from here we can exit out of this. Now we can delete the second message here because we have done this. So now we have the React to Verify uh, Carlbot message set up. So now I'm going to switch to my other account so we can see what it would look like for someone joining the server. So I'm on my other account now, and as you can see, uh, the only text channel that I'm able to see is the Verify channel. And I cannot send any messages in here. But I can see this message, and I have the option to react to verify. I'm going to select this. And as soon as I do that, it gives me the verified role in the server. And it also gives me access to the channels that the verified role has access to. I hope that this video helped you guys out. Please remember to like and subscribe.